Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to create a loop. Loops are actually really simple. What we're going to do is this little piece of code, this default code that prints out hello world, we're just going to run it five times. You can do a more advanced tasks than that, and I'm going to set you a few tasks at the end of this video. So, first of all, what you want to do is move into the ECX register the actual number of times you want your loop to run. So, I'm going to put five. Then you put the name of your loop, so I'm going to put L1 colon. Then at the end, what you want to do is put loop L1. Okay, so if I run this, it will work for a long time and then it will basically give us an error. I just want to show you this error before we complete it, just in case you come across it so you know how to solve it. So, okay, so as you can see, it's printed out a line because we, you know, this is the amount that needs, that the loop needs to run. But ECX gets overwritten here. So as a result, we need to push ECX onto the, the stack. Then we need to pop ECX back after we are no longer using ECX within that iteration of the loop back into you know the ECX register now if we run it and uh, okay so this is just because I'm using some 32 bit stuff the push and the pop so I can easily solve this by bits 32 and if I run it there we go so I used to run it five times if I was to change this to two it will print it out two times it will print change to 19 for example you know I'm not gonna count it but it looks about 19 to me okay so a couple of extra tasks so what I want you to do is first create a loop that actually just prints out numbers from 0 to 9 and it actually you know adds one onto it that's one task the other task is I want you to you know print out this string hello whatever string you want but it prints out one character at a time so you print out H then you print out E, then L, L, O, and even better, maybe put it on a separate line. And an extra task where you could do on top of that is print out this, but print out only the first character first, the next print out this, the first and second character, and the first, second, third, I think you can see where I'm going with that. So have a go at those tasks. If you need any help, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.